Hello, hello. Welcome back to another video. This one's going to be a little bit different. Uh, it's the middle of January here in Colorado. Most of our lakes are frozen, so I haven't been getting a ton of fishing footage. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what, you know, what else can I make videos of. I am getting out to Pueblo tomorrow morning because that's one of our few lakes that does have open water. So I'm heading out there tomorrow. Uh, I had to load up my kayak and I figured I'd show you what I have to go through every time I load my kayak. I'm in a little townhouse just north of Denver. Uh, we've got a tiny backyard with a shed. We've got neighbors on either side, neighbor behind me. So there's no direct access from my shed out to my van. So every time I want to go fishing, I have to drag the kayak out of the shed, through the house, and out the front door. It sucks. So anyway, let's get the kayak loaded up uh, so we can hit Pueblo tomorrow morning. But let me show you the hell I go through every time I go fishing. All right, so first step is, of course, dragging it out of the shed. And a quick sidebar, everything you're about to see would pretty much not be possible if I had a bigger kayak. Um, I can really only do this with my little native Slayer 10 because it's only 65 pounds. But I really haven't figured out what I'm going to do if and when I get a bigger kayak. I'm thinking maybe an enclosed trailer that I can just keep the kayak in out on the street and I'll just have to secure the heck out of it with a boot so it doesn't just go rolling off. Now we got to carry it through the sliding glass door. I got to take it through the living room. And here's the fun part, getting past the little dog gate. And for some stupid reason, our washing machine is right by the front door, so that's always fun to get around. But I can make it. And then once I'm outside, Set it down and drag it across the lawn. And then I just gotta throw it up on top of the minivan. And again, with anything heavier than this, uh, it's gonna be a problem. If I ever get a Hobie or a Titan X, something like that, I'm not roof loading it anymore, so it's going to be trailer or truck time. And we got it up there, of course we've got to strap it down. And if you're new to this and just watching this to see how to load it, a little pro tip is you always want to put a twist in your straps. Otherwise it's going to hum the entire time you're driving. It gets really annoying. Backstrap here. Again, give it a twist. Let's begin on the other side. These are just cam straps that I got off of Amazon. They weren't too expensive, but. I just want to pull that through and just cinch it down snug. You don't really want to crank it super hard because that's just good. it could crack your kayak, it could warp it. Um, so you just want to get it snug. And then I like to tie little half hitches below the buckle and then another one above and then just sort of tuck away the extra strap. Let's do the back. thing here that I do is this little NRS kayak lock that I got. Uh, I do that just for a little added security because the cam, lock, cam straps can slip. Um, and also I leave it out, uh, you know, sometimes I load it the night before I'm going out and I leave it out front overnight. And it's just a little added security. We've got a nice neighborhood though. Nobody's ever trying to take it. Knock on wood. And we're good. That's it. There's the Flanavan in all its glory. So I hope that helped. If so, give a like and subscribe and get after it.